Canada is currently having the most oil resource. Uh -huh. I, I applied for Alberta. I got rejection, unfortunately. I have an IELTS score of 8.0. 8 Hi, hello everyone. Uh, this is Parthi Krishna. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Canada Krishna. Today we have uh, Bamsi with us. Uh, he came for his recent uh, winter intake. Uh, we are just going to have some interaction with him and know a little bit more details about his course. Hi Mamsi. Hi. Uh, so when did you come Mamsi? Can you explain like where, when was your flight and you know all those so, dates? I just landed in Canada one week ago. Uh -huh. My flight was from Hyderabad. Uh -huh. Hyderabad to Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi to Amsterdam, Amsterdam uh -huh. to Toronto. Okay. It was on 8th of December. 8th of December. Uh, I got down in Toronto on 8th uh, evening 7.30. Uh -huh. My cousin lives in Toronto, he's working for Amazon right now. Okay, okay. So I lived with him for two days. Uh -huh. And then on 11th of December, I traveled from Toronto to here, St. John. So, how long your flight journey took? Overall, the only flight journey. All the halls and all, right? All the halls on, uh, it took almost 24 hours. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's only okay. 24 hours. I think, you know, uh, from Delhi to Montreal itself, it's around the 17 hours of flight journey, yeah. right? So, you came pretty early. I mean, within 24 hours, you came to Canada. It's a good thing. Can you explain about your background, Mamsi? Do you like what you used to do in your, uh, you know, undergrad and back in okay. India? Do you have any experience that kind of stuff? I did my BTEC in 2017. So okay. I, I started my BTEC in 2017. I passed out recently in June 2021. Okay. okay. My course was petroleum engineering. Uh -huh. I, I graduated from this college called ITM University. It's in Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. Okay. I'm basically from Andhra Pradesh, a town called Nastropet, which is in Muntu district. Okay. So, uh, my father is a businessman and he's also a member of uh, Andhra Cricket Association. Oh, that's good, that's good. Okay. So, he recently elected into an Apex Council. Uh -huh. That's a whole different story. Okay, okay. My mother is a homemaker and I have an elder brother. Oh, okay. He's a homeopathy doctor. He's, mm -hmm. in, he's currently in his final year. Mm -hmm. So, that's basically my background. Okay. So, experience, coming to experience, I don't have any experience. I mean, job. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Because I just recently passed out and I was first aiming to get into an IIT through GATE. Oh, okay, I okay. We are how much, with GATE. How much uh, marks you got in? Uh... So, in GATE I have an All India rank of 224. Okay, okay. And uh, which team was it? It is in Petroleum Engineering. Petroleum Engineering. Yeah. So, you got around 200 and you are not able to get IIT. I am not able to get an IIT because okay. The competition is tough, tough. Uh, and yeah, also yeah. we have a less colleges for yeah, especially in petroleum engineering. Yeah. So you need to have a rank of around 100 and all then you are safe. Okay. So and then the second option was to come abroad. One thing I want to ask here, yes. why did you choose petroleum engineering? Because most of the people yes. are, doesn't prefer to go there, right? Yeah, so uh, what is your like analysis on that? When I was doing my intermediate. Okay. The first thing was I don't want to go to into CS or EC because there were already lot many engineers, a lot yeah, of competitions. Uh, I yeah, just want to do something different. Okay. And then I thought of doing metallurgical and instrumental engineering. Okay. So when I was going through this dilemma of what subject should I choose for my BTEC, then mm. uh, my father introduced me to one of his colleagues. Okay. He's also a distant relative to us. Okay. So we sat down and then he just gave me intake. He, he works in an oil and gas engineering. Oh, okay. okay. He, he has a background of that. Oh, okay. Then he, he introduced me to this subject. First thing, mm -hmm. so he also told me the opportunities, of the way you can travel the world with that. Okay, okay. Also the money, but yeah, yeah. He, money is like you know you get yes, a lot in petroleum. You uh, get a lot in the petroleum engineering. But uh, most of the people, uh, I think, uh, no, we just ignore the petroleum and the metallurgical kind yes, of yes, stuff, yes, right? Exactly. So we don't actually look into them properly, I guess. Mm. So most of the most of the people in India don't even know that there is a branch for branch petroleum, petroleum engineering. I agree, I agree. What was your IELTS marks and you know what was your uh, uh, why did you choose a uh, memorial university did you apply for any other university can you yes. explain something on that coming back when my gate experience completely like okay. not fail i cannot say fail but it not yeah, yeah. go the, like as, the as a plan which you yeah. expected uh, you were not yeah, able it to was not as that. planned uh, so yeah. and then i chose canada okay because I don't want to go to US, there's again a lot of competition in US and okay. also limited. So you are trying to be, you know, where there is no competition, I'll go to Start like competitions. Yeah, I can understand. There are yeah, a lot there, of people lot going of to people, US and uh, uh, it's tough to get a green card. I don't want to go to a place where it is crowded. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to go to a place where it's simple and space. Okay. So that's the reason choosing Canada. That's one of the reasons. The uh -huh. other reason is uh, Canada is currently having the most oil resource, uh, oil and gas resource. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, so. that so. There were many opportunities. There are going to be many opportunities here in Canada because mm. the, the you know, expansion of, of the, the hub is yeah. Middle Eastern part, which was a hub. 
is slowly depleting. So then now uh, North Americans are starting to expand yeah. their own resources. Again, that's a completely so most area. of the people doesn't know it, but uh, you know there are a lot of uh, oil extracts in Canada also, right? Yes, yes, yes. In uh, Calgary, in Cal- Alberta, in Cal- the, in the whole uh, state of Alberta is a complete oil rich state. Also in the in the Saint John's, I mean in the Newfoundland, mm-hmm. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but I read the news saying that you know there might be some oil extract. Yes. If at all it gets extracted, right? There is going to be some millions of uh, business going. Yes, on. yes, yes. So that is. Yeah, even I heard of the story. Yeah, even I heard. That's the one of the reasons choosing this city, oh, because true. there are many offshore prospects here. Mm-hmm. You know, we are living on a, a port area. Yeah. So there are many connections with the other countries, uh, with the North Sea. North Sea comes in Europe. Yeah. So there are many oil, oil and gas rich in the North Sea. So the connections is easier here, and there is mm-hmm. a lot of oil and gas prospects here in Saint John's. That is one of the reasons of choosing. Memorial, as you mentioned, Alberta. Uh-huh. I I applied for Alberta. I got rejection, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think the reason would be for Alberta University to reject, like maybe because, because of the experience, not having yeah, experience. The, Alberta is a top class college. Top, uh, it, yeah, yeah. It's it ranked eighth in the world for petroleum engineering. So, petroleum by the way, engineering. in the Saint John's, we have a Memorial University. Yes. So it's ranked around at twenty uh, in Canada. So yes, I think. Alberta is like a good like top ten. Yeah, maybe uh, like, it, it will uh, be in top ten. Here I applied with uh, help of a consultancy, but Alberta did not use any consultancy. Maybe I'm maybe thinking what that is also one of the reason yeah. lack of inexperience. So, so yeah, guys, if you are not quite sure, I think uh, reaching out to IDP or some other consultancy, right? It would be much better. It would be much better. Yes. Because you know I'm not sure if at all. Through applying the consulting, you might have got in. Yes, exactly. Not even sure I think that, that that is the only regret I have today. Yeah. I should have gone through the consulting yeah. for applying I Alberta. That, yeah. So what about like what was the requirement criteria to apply to the Memorial University and you know uh, what is your IELTS or if you write any IELTS? Memorial yeah. applying to Memorial University is like any other university. You need to have an IELTS score of six point five with no band less than six. Okay. And yeah, you need to have proper uh, score in your bachelor's degree. Mm-hmm. No How bachelor's is preferred. I have an 8.61 CGPA oh, in the bachelor's degree. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. Okay. Thank you. And uh, I have an IELTS score of 8.0. 8.0. You yes. got an IELTS? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, man! We should take advice from you. <laughs> 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 So yeah, that that's pretty much it. I was, and then I applied, started applying colleges. So you applied to only two universities, and you got into Memorial yes, University. Yes, no, I so, I thought of applying to Calgary too. Uh, the curriculum in Calgary is a little different than what they are offering in Alberta and here uh, in Memorial. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't want to opt to Calgary, so I just kept it. But uh, Calgary is also like very cold Calgary place to be, right? Yes, yes. So good that you came to Saint John's. And uh, what is the fees you are paying for your uh, MS uh, all all together? And what is about the yearly fees or semester fees? So it is like any other MAS degree because here in uh, Memorial University you have a special fee for special programs. Yeah, yeah, right? I understand. Uh, yeah. Yes. So for oil and gas engineering, it's sixteen thousand two hundred and eighty-two dollars. Sixteen thousand two hundred and eighty-two dollars. Oh, okay. So special fee that is considered as a special fee. Okay. And the remaining. Uh, Sixteen hundred and eleven one six double one dollars for semester. For semester wise. Semester so all together you are spending around twenty lakhs. Twenty five thousand nine forty eight dollars in Canadian dollars. So what about the like in in Indian rupees? Yeah, around twenty lakhs. Twenty lakhs. Eighteen to twenty lakhs. So you got any scholarship on that? No, you no, got no, any scholarship no, no, no scholarship. No, no scholarship as of now, as but of you can no, still apply yes, and yes, get the scholarship. Scholarship. Right? Yes. So most of the universities, though you didn't get any scholarship, you know, while you are applying after coming here. Uh, yes. You can obviously apply for the scholarships, and there are a lot of chances that you can get the scholarship after coming here also. Uh, so just to look, let you know, guys, what do you look after? You know, after the completion of your course, what are you looking at uh, into getting a job? Uh, in yes, I do want to have experience in oil and gas field. Okay, that actually bounces your career more. Yeah, yeah, especially considering this field. So you want to you want to work in the same zones or like you have? No, wherever I have opportunities, I'm going to work there. Okay, okay. So and also, I'm I'm interested to do my PhD. I'm still looking for Alberta if if any in future oh, possibility. Okay, okay. After one so, or two years of experience, if I can apply for yeah. Alberta. for my phd i'm going to do that okay that's good you are going to go into research field that's what yes, you're saying i want to go into research field along with working tangentially in oil and gas field because oh. you can gain more from yeah, the field yeah. than working in a lab so i understand so you want to pursue your career towards the research and all in the oil and gas yes. and you know explore because the alternate fuel is the one thing that research is constantly going on yeah, what yeah, if yeah. oil and gas exploited and it's completely depleted uh, yeah. what we are going to do for the next research so, generation so when when you said that i remembered when my professor right he teaches us ethics okay. so the way he told was like uh, in, in this province hmm. there are a couple of provinces where oil and gas is you know not considered as you know like a taboo 
Uh, yes. Whereas if you go for some other provinces like Toronto and somewhere mm. else, if you say that you are working for some oil and gas, right? Mm. There mm. might be some awkward silence. Yes, 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 so yes, it is yes. like you know, in the in the Western countries, people feel that oil and gas is something you know, uh, mm. uh, which especially when all these environmental yeah. riots are going. Yeah, on yeah. And so yeah, that's I do it. Yeah, they they see as if you know you you made some mistake or something. Exactly. Not, not ah, I, offense, I, I but, do get that a lot. Uh, so, but I think it's not about only oil and gas. We also have a renewable energies and yes, you know, we, we the, have renewable. Uh, there are a lot of uh, chemical mixtures and through which we can actually yes. prepare, yes, we can prepare. Uh, them, right? So yeah, there are constant research going on in this yeah. field in trying to get an alternate fuels yeah, by yes. replacing oil and gas. So yeah, I'm interested to do research. In that yeah, part. that's good. That's good. Uh, thanks everyone for watching till the end of the video since we are getting lot of information from the vamsi and since the video is getting long we are trying to separate the video into two parts part 1 and part 2 so don't forget to watch part 2 it will be coming soon in day or two if at all you got some information from the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to our video until the next video take care bye